Okay guys, so today I came across some crazy information and uh, before we get into that, I just want to let you guys know that this video is solely speculation and it could be completely wrong as we do not have any hard evidence backing up these claims, but I figured I would show you guys this information that we do have and then ask you the question and let you decide. Do you think the next CSGO operation will be dropping with this upcoming CSGO update? Now, if you haven't seen my previous video talking about how Valve is finally listening to its players and fixing the actual game itself, I'll briefly touch on what was talked about in that video. So, Valve just released a beta version for the next CSGO update, and within this beta, they fixed the hitbox problems that almost everyone was experiencing. Have you ever shot someone directly in the head and uh, thought it was a perfect shot but nothing happened well that's because there was this glitch with the hitbox where when a user turned their head slightly to the left or to the right the hitbox would be misplaced to the side of their head therefore when you shoot at the player's head nothing happens because the hitbox isn't actually there and it's to the side of their head and this is the issue that Valve fixed in this beta. Now, of course, we are still going to have hit reg problems and the game will stay 64 tick, but at least Valve is finally on the right track and maybe those are some changes we can hope for in a future update to the game. Another change we just saw happen the other day is that Valve is finally upping their security and thousands of players were banned and it seems as though Valve is now detecting and banning cheaters who are using Aimware, Unity, or Interwebs, which were some of the biggest and most popular CSGO cheat providers. It seems like Nick Bunyan's petition actually is working and Valve is finally making improvements that their players want them to make to the game. And with that being said, if you are a cheater who used any of those cheat providers in the past and you're somehow not banned yet, I would recommend that you stop using them as soon as possible as it seems like there is a massive ban wave going on at the moment and honestly if you're a cheater just play the game legit for, for once like i don't understand cheating in csgo why would you use cheats to win matches in a virtual game like the, the game is literally just to have fun and some competition and there honestly is not much competition when the enemies are locking onto your head through walls and and spin body like i just watched some video of the most blatant hackers in an lem game with over 1000 hours each and they had a pretty expensive inventory so these people somehow are not getting banned and they've been cheating forever and in this video i watched they were straight up aiming at the ground and just snapping up onto enemies heads like they, they were just looking at the ground not aiming whatsoever at the enemies but anyway we got a little bit off topic there just bear with me i'm sick and i feel like aids but the main point of this video is to discuss whether or not valve is releasing the next operation when they release this next csgo update that they already made this beta for so at first this was just a thought that i'm sure was in the back of all of our minds and i wasn't even going to make a video about it until i remembered this email i got about a month ago so about a month ago this guy who goes by the name Barnabas Hugh sent me an email saying that the next operation will be released around September 17th. Now at the time I thought this was just some random guy giving me some fake information as we have already seen this happen in the past so I didn't want to make a video about this and talk about it. But honestly I think this guy may be right because Valve just released this beta the other day and today is September 14th and obviously a few days after the beta has been released Valve will most likely make the normal update for all of players and September 17th is only three days away so I asked this guy where he got his information and how he knew this and he spoke very broken English so neither of us could really understand one another but he did tell me that he is 99% sure that the operation will be released around September 17th and he even sent me this picture that you can see on screen right now and he said this is how he determined that date now I looked at this and obviously it's the release dates for all of the past operations but I could not come to any conclusion of how he got September 17th out of this chart. Like, I have no idea how he came up with that date. So, could this guy be completely wrong and have no idea what he is talking about? Sure, that's why I originally didn't report on this. But with Valve recently making this beta update, it honestly makes me wonder if this guy is correct. Now, one thing I did notice is that if you look up all of the release dates of the cases in CSGO, 
you will see that Operation Vanguard was released on November 11th of 2014 with the Operation Vanguard weapon case. And then next we had the Chroma case coming out on January 8th of 2015 and then after that the Chroma 2 case being released on April 15th of 2015 and then finally the Operation Bloodhound update with the Falchion case and the brand new Falchion knife came out on May 26th of 2015 which was roughly a month after the release of the Chroma 2 case update. Now comparing that to our most recent updates, we had Operation Wildfire come out with the Operation Wildfire case and the brand new Bowie knife on February 17th of 2016. Then we had the Chroma 3 case come out on April 27th of 2016. Then the Gamma case came out on June 15th of 2016. And then finally the Gamma 2 case that was just released on August 18th of 2016. Now, if we take the Chroma 3 case out of this picture, doesn't it look much similar to what we just saw with the Chroma cases? And the Gamma 2 case was just released about a month ago, so if Valve kept this same kind of pattern going, we would be due for a new operation and a new knife case within the next week or so. Now we already know Valve loves releasing updates on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, so could a whole new operation and knife case be released next week? It is a huge possibility, but once again, none of this is concrete evidence, so really this is all speculation and only time will tell. Now one other thing I want to point out is that a while ago I made a video talking about how the Tomahawk will most likely be the next knife released with the next CSGO operation. In that video I basically talked about this coding that was found in the Operation Breakout update and since the Operation Breakout update, every single one of these knives from this coding have already been released in another operation after that. The Falchion knife from Operation Bloodhound, the Butterfly knife from Operation Breakout, the Bowie knife from the Wildfire operation, and the only knife we have left is the M48 Tomahawk. Not to mention that the M48 Tomahawk was also released in Counter-Strike Online, which was a different version of Counter-Strike, obviously not CSGO itself. So my question to you guys is, do you think the next update will just be a small hitbox fix kind of update? Or do you think we will have a whole new operation with a whole new knife and possibly even the M48 Tomahawk? Now one last thing I just thought of too is that if Valve wanted to only release this simple little hitbox fix update then why haven't they made the update available to the public yet? The beta seems to be working fine so what are they waiting for? There's obviously a reason that they're waiting and that's possibly that they're still getting the operation maps and case and skins and everything together. But once again, only time will tell and that is left for us to decide. Now, if you want to check out my other videos talking about these subjects, make sure to click on them using the cards in the upper right hand corner. And also, if you're interested in signing Nick Bunyan's petition, I'll have a link to his video down in the description below. So if you have not signed his petition yet and you want to, you can make sure to go ahead and do that with the link down there. Now I also linked the sources for the few video clips I used in today's video down in the description below so if you want to check any of their full videos with their clips you can do that as well. Anyway guys that's basically it for today's video I know it was a long one but I do want to thank you guys for all of the support recently. If you haven't entered my giveaways yet, I'm hosting several giveaways to thank you guys for 300,000 subscribers. We're doing a Bowie Knife giveaway, a $10,000 giveaway with Game Flip, and a Dragon Lord giveaway with Gitcoin. So if you haven't entered those giveaways yet and you want to, make sure to do that with the links in the description below. We're already almost at 400,000 subscribers, so obviously we're going to have to have more giveaways at 400,000. It's just insane that we're already almost there. And I just want to thank you guys so much for all of the support recently. And if you enjoyed today's video, be sure to drop a like down below. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe so you never actually miss a future video from me. This has been Skin Freak. And until next time, stay freaky. Oh, this video is over 10 minutes long. I'm disliking, I'm unsubbing. This is Kancha. Do you only want the money, you Kancha? Kancha. <laughs> I can't take a 
click bite anymore. I am unsubscribing today.